The brand new Sony Xperia 5V is filled to the brim with enthusiast additions like a headphone port, micro SD card expansion, the best chip, and it's marginally more compact than its competitors. Could this be the true Android fan's dream phone? Well, here's everything you need to know in just five minutes. Think of the Sony Xperia 5V as the Xperia 1V, but smaller. It's far from the most compact flagship Android phone out there, but it has a unique take on what small smartphones should offer as it's tall and slim with that strange 21 by 9 aspect ratio. The shape is actually perfect for watching movies on Netflix or Amazon Prime, but it can be hard to get used to at first. It could get a little bit brighter, but it's a fine display here that benefits from usability with a nice flat profile too. The bezels are a bit chunky on the sides, but the 6.1 inch screen fits the unique profile and your hands don't actually get in the way when using this phone in landscape orientation. Plus there's absolutely no screen cutter or punch hole to distract or annoy you. Excellent front facing speakers ensure that every bit of content is fully immersive and the flat screen is of course great for that extra usability. There is a side sense floating toolbar though to help make things more manageable with this tall thin screen and this lets you quickly launch into apps like split screen mode or even the one handed reachability mode to help you easily access all areas of Android running on the Xperia 5V. The Xperia 5V looks practically identical to all of the other previous Xperia models. That said, the quality of the build is super high because it's predominantly glass and metal and this phone is both chunky and lightweight at the same time. The ridged chamfer around the flat edges is oddly comfortable in your hand. The only sore point is the squishy power button, but that does actually double as a fingerprint scanner. In our practice, it's fast, reliable, and has a good position if you're right-handed, but not so much if you're left-handed, unless you use your index finger to unlock your phone. There is a dedicated camera shutter button along the right side of this phone to let you quickly launch into the camera application and actually take photos like you would with a regular camera system. While it is cool, I must admit you can accidentally activate the camera in your pocket if you do grip the Xperia 5V a little too firmly, but it is super easy to hold because it's actually not too wide in your palm. Sony also isn't giving up on classic hardware like the 3.5mm headphone jack which hasn't appeared on any Android flagship phone for quite a few years now. You even get micro SD card expansion up to 1TB, so which means you can download as much as you possibly need. It also makes up for the 128GB base storage model because this can get filled quite easily here too. The Xperia 5V even includes an IP68 water and dust resistance rating without actually compromising on those previous hardware functions. And on top of that, the SIM tray can be removed at any time for easy access without any extra tools needed. Some classic functions though have disappeared on this model, like the notification LED. Instead, to get the same functionality, you'll have to use the always on display. The software is very akin to the Pixel version of Android 13 here on the Xperia 5V. It's almost identical, save a few little visual changes and menu icon swap. Some extra Sony applications do come pre-installed like the Video Creator application, Bravia Core, which actually nets you a free year of streaming. There's pro camera applications thrown in here and a few more extra to help you get the most from this non-standard form factor. The software itself is pretty great, but it only offers up two full Android releases, which is actually quite shameful on Sony's part. The shelf life of your phone should be longer than that, given that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor is really super powerful and efficient in this device, and it's a beast. So you don't need to worry about performance issues with the Sony Xperia 5V. It does get a little bit warmer on this device compared to other phones when you're gaming, but I wouldn't say it's anything to be concerned about. The Xperia 5V also has a very big battery for such a compact phone. It's actually the same internal cell size as the Pixel 8 Pro and the S23 Ultra, and this device is way smaller. Because of that, battery life is excellent in that it's an all day and then some, but charging is actually slower than the Pixel series, which is not fast in its own right. Annoyingly, there is only a dual lens camera system at the back of this phone, which ditches the cool zoom tricks of the Sony Xperia 1V. This isn't the strongest camera system, but it has lots of useful functions like 4K 120 FPS video recording, plus tons of Sony Alpha Team tuning tweaks under the hood that you probably won't find on any other phone out there. Pro level camera controls are also bundled in, which means you can kind of treat your phone like a Sony camera. And this allows hardcore mobile photographers and videographers as well to use tools more commonly found on the Sony Alpha mirrorless liner. The auto camera modes are really solid, but you'll get more from the Xperia 5V 
if you are happy to play around with these manual modes, which is something to consider if you are buying this for its photography prowess. So should you buy the Sony Xperia 5V? Well, it is nice to see throwback hardware and flagship specs in a small premium package like this. But to be frank, the Xperia 5V is a little bit of a tough sell at the full retail price, even if these desirable enthusiast editions are bundled in. It's actually not available in North America too, and is almost the same price as the brand new Pixel 8 Pro, but it could be the perfect package for lots of people who want that hardware. Even so, I have to say, it feels far from a true enthusiast dream phone. So that's the highlights of the Sony Xperia 5V in just under five minutes. Thanks for joining me though, and I will catch you in the next one.